Why don't you find those bandits' headquarters and see what they know? I'm sure they'll have information about the ruins and Clavis. This is just a guess. Hey, you. Yeah, you there. Don't you think the last of something seems a bit more special? More valuable, even? Not necessarily. Could just be the leftovers that no one else wanted. Hmm. You just don't get it. I guess I have to explain to you the awesomeness of my research, then. No, you really don't. But thanks anyway. Wait, wait, wait. This is your last chance. Are you sure you want to miss out on your chance to hear the last researcher? Last researcher? I've seen plenty of researchers. No, no, I research lasts. Everything has to end sometime, right? Even us ageless humans, we still fall prey to illness and injury. Eventually, there will be a last of us too. Unless the world ends first. But what do you want from me? I've spent this endless life of mine researching the ends of all the many things in our world. And now, I'm researching the last of the monsters. So you're studying how they die? No, no. That'd be their last moments. I meant the last specimen of a species of monsters. I don't follow. You see, you reduce the number of specimens in a species until they're on the very verge of extinction. Then, what will happen to the last individual? One lone survivor in the face of extinction. It turns out the last individual receives the collective strength of its species and it transforms. 
Its form is enveloped in a sickly light, and it becomes far stronger than is normal for an individual of its kind. I've come to call this the last one syndrome. I must gather data on all the species that manifest a last one. I want to drive every last species of monster to the brink of extinction and study their survivors. I don't know whether to salute you or slap you. You want to wipe out all the monsters in the world. The world is ending anyway, right? Everything is going to die sooner or later, so what's wrong with speeding things up? No need to feel bad. Get out there and start killing. Are you talking to me? I need someone to start exterminating monsters fast, so I can study as many last ones as possible. You're obviously strong enough for the task, so get to it! It's impossible. All the time in the world would not be enough to hunt a species into extinction. Yes, you're right. You'd have to be able to live through this life countless times to do such a thing. Why ask if you know it's impossible? Like I said, the world is ending anyway. If you don't ask for what you want now, then when will you? I knew it was too much to hope for. But somehow when I saw you, I thought you might actually be capable of it. Do you even listen to yourself? Fine. Since you asked, I guess I can at least try. But no promises. I know you'll be able to do it. I can see it in your eyes. You'll come back to me a success. your funeral. Exactly welcome a stranger like you. 
Well, considering how they've been tracking me, I don't think I'll need to introduce myself. So, you noticed. Yes. It looks as though they've been keeping an eye on you, ever since you stepped foot in their desert. Let them. We'll meet face to face soon enough. is long. use it looks like it's pretty worn it does look rather old but it seems like it's been taken good care of settlement now. I'm sure that you're looking forward to a bit of rest, but I wouldn't let your guard down if I were you. I would guess that everyone living there is part of the bandit gang. So don't be surprised if I wake up at knife point, is that it? Fine by me. It'd give me an excuse to beat some information out of them. You'd use yourself as bait? Just for that? I guess that's just like you. But don't let yourself get hurt, okay? The buildings here are ancient structures from another age. I don't know whether to call this a town or a fortress, but it's definitely... What are you doing? Nothing much. Just gilling my spots for a haul to ear. Dutter do ewing, wumass. Hope, can you interpret this for me? It seems to me like it's some kind of code or cipher, but I don't have enough data yet to break it. Can't you speak normally? Show knit. <sighs> Of course I can. Look, I don't have any info about any treasure, if that's what you're looking for. I've got no interest in it. Boofad to you. Doesn't seem like many people choose to live out here unless they're after treasure. So, what's your story? Meath B. Lee. 
The world's going to end soon anyway, right? If that's the case, what's the point in having dreams or working hard? So sitting around waiting for the end was the best idea you could come up with. Nice way to spend your last days. Well, yeah, it's boring, but nothing I do now makes any sort of difference anyway, so why bother? <sighs> no matter how much I might unravel mysteries of the past, none of these bandits care. They don't even listen to my findings. <sighs> Tro wouldn't even nice to Unsterdand. I get that it's hard to stay motivated when no one appreciates what you do. I'd say so. If you get it, why are you giving me a hard time? Just leave me alone. I'm done with all of it. <sighs> I ditched all my equipment in the desert. If you find any of my old things, they're yours. Take them away with you. I think I may just do that. They deserve better than getting tossed aside by some sulking, spoiled kid. Fake them, Ten. Um, speaking of equipment... Didn't you pick up some sort of tool in the desert before? What is it? Don't tell me you actually found something. Is this it? What you threw away? Uh, how did you... Dad's loop? Dad? Never mind that. Just give it back to me. Now! You want it back? Who was it that told me I was welcome to whatever I could find? I'm not sure I want to give it up. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk if I have to. My dad was a great bandit, okay? But he was also a great appraiser. He spent his whole life studying the relics in these ruins. So he wanted you to follow in his footsteps? No, it wasn't like that. Not at all. He taught me everything he knew so that I could become a scholar. He wanted me to be able to unravel the mysteries of the past. But then he disappeared. Never made it home. No one ever found any clue as to what happened. He left me and took my only chance at becoming a scholar with him. Didn't have much choice. I could appraise or starve. Is that why you threw away his tools? In order to spite your father? It was stupid. I was stupid. I should have just done what my dad wanted and kept working to be a real scholar. But he's gone, and it's too late now. This world is nearly done for. But if I'm ever reborn, I promise I'll take things a bit more seriously. I'll give it my all. I'll study hard, and I'll become a great scholar and solve all kinds of mysteries. Or maybe that's too much to ask for. You should dream big, and the first step to making your dream come true is believing it can come true. If you find anything curious, just bring it to me for appraisal. Why, hello. Looks like it's your first time to our humble home. Welcome. Do you need a guide? That's exactly what I need. That and some answers to a few questions I have. A woman who knows what she wants. Fire away and I'll do my best. Rumor has it that you bandits might be able to tell me about the Holy Clavis. Hmm. So you know who we are. From what I can tell, you don't look like one of those order lackeys. So what possible use could you have for the Clavis? Why should I have to tell you that? <laughs> you shouldn't, and you don't. You're not one of us, so you can do whatever you want. But I won't be telling you nothing. If you want to know what we know about the Clavis, you'll just have to join our gang, Monoculus. Have you ever wanted to be a bandit? Now's your chance. Not that we let just anyone join us. But we'll at least let you try out. If you don't like that, then I think you know where the exit is. And that's all I've got to say about this. Name's Adonis, by the way. If you want to attempt the trial, just say the word. I'll explain everything you need to know. If you want to find the Holy Clavis, it looks like there might not be much choice but joining up. I suggest talking to Adonis and finding out what his trial entails. You ready to see if you've got what it takes to join Monoculus? Oh, 
Made your decision, have you? Then let me explain what you'll have to do. There's a giant sandstorm in the desert. You've seen it, right? It's been causing us nothing but grief out here, to say the least. Make it stop. That's your test. Off you go. Make it stop? The wind? Do you want a bandit or a holy woman? Oh, fine. Make me explain it all. Look, that thing's not exactly natural. People call it God's wrath. It's magic or a curse or something. If you can trigger the stone monument near it, you should be able to control it, including making it go away. If you know that, why haven't you taken care of it, instead of asking a stranger? What? You think a human can control the weather? That's just crazy talk. Now go and give it your all. Best of luck. Beat the monster near the stone monument, and you'll get the key that activates it. And that's the last freebie you'll get from me. So if you want into the bandit gang, you'll have to defeat a monster, get a certain key, and somehow use that monument to stop God's wrath. Are you serious about wanting to join our gang? You're right, it's not a very fair trial. But then again... Doing what regular... must be it. Adonis is monster. The question is, does it have the key? Let's hope that it does, but I'll have to beat it to find out. <sighs> and now I get to be a bandit, too. Time to head back to chaos. Our tears fall into the chaos. Journey doesn't end here. Pray for the dead. Pray for the dead. I follow the wind. See you never. How you activate that monument? That's the theory, yeah. It's called a crux and supposed to fit right into the monument and switch it on somehow. But not just for anyone. According to all the tales, only those chosen by God can make them work. It doesn't seem dangerous. I think it's just reacting to your power. Well, don't tell me. You, you can actually make it work? Well, shoot, I never thought you'd be able to do it. So you're the real deal. You actually got the crux to do its thing. Yes, the boss was right, as usual. You've got some strange kind of power that the rest of us just don't. Your boss? I don't remember being introduced. You haven't, but we've been keeping tabs on you ever since you stepped off the train at the station. But I suppose I should let the boss explain the rest in person. Cause, honestly, I don't want to get blamed for spilling the wrong things. So does that mean I'm in? I said the boss will explain in person, didn't I? You think just anyone gets in to see her? Welcome to the gang. 
You are now officially part of Monoculus. Light, you've stopped the winds and opened up a new route. This will make for a great shortcut to the bandit settlement. It looks like Adonis wasted no time in using your new shortcut. Why don't you follow his lead and head back to meet the bandit boss? The bandit gang was watching you from the very beginning. It seems like they were just waiting for the right time to talk to you. So the leader of the Monoculus gang saw through your true power. It looks like you might still have some challenges ahead of you, Light. Good job again on the trial. Impressive. You ready to go meet the boss now? Here she is, boss. The new recruit with the crazy powers. It was just like you said, the crux <laughs> lit up like a candle. Perfect timing. Huh? <laughs> Glad you could make it. Took you long enough, didn't it? Fang. What? No hugs and tears for an old friend? Not like I'd expect it, though. If you'd shouted Fang and hugged me, what? I might have had a heart attack oh. on the spot. Uh, yeah, you guys know each other. But I'm glad to see you're still the same. It's been a long time, after all. Though I guess a part of you has changed. Hmm. You're more than just human now. You're on a mission from God now. Right, Savior? So you know who I am. Isn't it nice not having to explain things? Yeah, I heard all the stories hanging out with the God Squad in Luxurian. They love talking about their savior. You were with the Order, but ditched them to come out here to be a gang leader. Those priests aren't exactly my kind of people. I stuck around to look after Vanille, but then something else came up. I'm after the Clavis now. It's been sealed away for ages, though, and no one's got even close to it. I was beginning to think I'd have to give up. But then you came along and worked your magic with that crux. How about we team up? I want to get that clavis before the order does. Help out a friend, Lightning? How could I refuse an old friend? It'll be like old times, right? <laughs> All right. I'll show you what we have on the ruins. We've got lots to talk about. Like what the Order is up to. And Vanille, too. Anyway, we've got ourselves a deal. If you're going into those ruins, I'm coming too. We'll get that Holy Clavis, and take down anyone that gets in our way. The boss turned out to be someone you knew, Erba Yun Fang. You once fought alongside her many years ago. You do realize that you did too, right? Yet you sure make it sound like it has nothing to do with you. Well, yes, we did fight together once. A long, long time ago. 